will play.
Shabbat shalom. shalom. Welcome to those who are joining us from home through the live stream, and welcome to those who are here in person. It is good to be together. Hine matov, umanayim. Our prayer books can be found tucked into the seats just in front of you. Those who are joining us through the live stream, you can find the link just a click away. We open to page 105. We're about to welcome in Shabbat with candles. Let's take a moment to welcome one another. See if you can find someone nearby that you don't yet know. We have a few guests, uh, travelers who have come to Toronto. So be sure to make uh, newcomers feel extra welcome. And leading us in candlelighting are Eva and Mark Madras. I invite anyone else who would like to light candles and bring in Shabbat with a little extra light to come and join us over here.
Amen. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kichanu Mitzvotav V'tzivanu V'tzivanu V'hadlik Ner Shel Shabbat Lechu lechu neranina, ranina la dona in aria, let's so ye shainu. Lechu lechu neranina, ranina la dona in aria, let's so ye shainu. Nikad ma fana vitota, bismirot naria lo. Lechu neranina, neranina la dona, let's so ye Top of page 108. Shiru Ladonai. Shiru Ladonai. Shir Shiru Ladonai. Koha Aret. Shiru Ladonai. Barhu Shemo. Basru Miyom Leyom Yeshu Ato.
Before we welcome in Shabbat with Lecha on page 115, uh, let me just acknowledge what I imagine we all are feeling, which is uh, a heavy heaviness after uh, a frightening week, um, frightening news that has come from close to home, from far away. Um, Israel is bracing itself for what will be, and we are too. If you feel that you have been holding your breath for much of the week, uh, I promise you, you are not alone. And so thank God Shabbat comes, where we can let go of that breath for a moment, where we can lift each other's spirits with song, and we can turn Godward with our prayers. So let me share with you an excerpt from a Hebrew and Aramaic poem written in Yemen somewhere between the 14th and 17th centuries. I imagine it's written by someone who was feeling a heaviness of the week and then found a lightness when Shabbat arrived. And so he follows his feet. He follows his feet to the synagogue. He follows his feet to the, the home that is dressed for Shabbat, uh, to the family and the loved ones who are dressed for Shabbat. Old and gray as I am, I hurry forth on Friday filled with love to meet the Sabbath. My joy approaches and my grief disappears and I sing out Baruch Haba, welcome. Blessed are you in your arrival. For love of this day, I purify my soul once more. I bless the eternal God and I find I can leap and dance. Yes, this is it, a foretaste of the world to come. Lecha page 115. Lecha Shamor vizachor bedibur echa Ishmi anu echa milcha Adonai echa ushmo echa Shem ultiferet v'lichila Lecha dodi
Page 119, let's stand together. Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Bidvarom Ariv Aravim, Bachochma Potech Sharim, Uvituna Mishane Itim, Umachalif at Hazmanim, Um Sader at Akochavim, Bemishmuroteham Barakia Kirzono, Boreum Valaila Golel Or Mipne Hoshech, Vehoshech Mipne Or, Uma Avir Yom, Umevi Laila, Umabdil Benyomu Vain Laila, Adonai Seba Otshemo. El Chai Vekayam, Tamid Yimloch Aleinu Leolam Vaed, Baruch Ata Adonai, Hama'ariv Aravim. Together, unending love have you shown your people, the house of Israel. Torah and mitzvot, laws and precepts have you taught us. Therefore, Adonai our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will reflect on the meaning of your laws and rejoice in the words of your Torah and in your mitzvot forever. For they are our life and the length of our days. On them we will meditate day and night. May your love never depart from us. Praised are you, Adonai, 
who loves your people Israel. <laughs> All this we hold to be true and sure. You alone are our God, there is none else, and we are Israel, your people. You are sovereign, you deliver us from the hands of oppressors and save us from the fists of tyrants. You do wonders without number, marvels that surpass our understanding. You give us our life, by your help we survive all who seek our destruction. You did wonders for us in the land of Egypt, miracles and marvels in the land of Pharaoh. You led your people, Israel, out forever to serve you in freedom. When your children witnessed your power, they extolled you and gave you thanks. Willingly they enthroned you and full of joy, Moses, Miriam, and all Israel sang this song. To Hilot, oh, se fele, Nora to Hilot, oh, se fele. Malachutacha, Rauvanecha, Bokeyam, Lif Nehe Moshe, Zeli, Anu Viamaru, Adonai, Loch, Adonai. If I don't know yet, me at Hazak me menu, Baruch at Adonai, God, Give it. Ha 
We continue praying the Amidah privately through page 136, and we add to these prayers the prayers which we write for ourselves this day. Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tasi Oh, 
Shalom Rav, O Yisrael Amcha, Tassim Le'olam. Shalom Rav, O Yisrael Amcha, Tassim Our prayers for healing can be found on page 137. We ask that God will grant a refuash lema, a complete healing of body and spirit for our loved ones near and far, for those among us who are in need of healing, physical healing, emotional, spiritual restoration. We mention by name these friends and family of our congregation Keter Bat Yechezkel, Jen Green, Jonathan Rival, Larry Babbins, Sheila Keenan, the wounded soldiers of Israel, the wounded civilians of Israel, the displaced within Israel, those who may take shelter in the coming days. And we continue to pray for the hostages held captive in Gaza. Are there any other names to call into our prayers for healing tonight? So first, I, I want to say, um, take care. It's really important not to become dispirited, not to despair, not to become depressed. Uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. And for every disappointing conversation that you have, and I've had some this week, um, with faith leaders, with elected officials, um, Find another counterpoint. Find a good conversation, a reassuring one, an, uh, an uplifting one, a reinforcing one. And there are many to be had. I've had those too this week um, with faith leaders and with elected officials. So um, I'm not saying to pretend away the hard news, read it, know it, but also find yourself... Um, some of those uplifting stories, the biographies of Jewish athletes who are uh, competing in the Olympics, they're gorgeous and strong and tremendous, right? Take pride in them. And don't deny yourself the pleasures that come with summer or with birthdays. <laughs> um, that's okay, too. We are in the last parsha for the book of Bamidbar. It's a double portion this year. 
Matot Maseh. So we are doubly blessed with Torah this week. Matot means tribes, and Maseh means travels or journeys. And contained in Parashat Matot, we have um, the first example that I can point to of, well, maybe second example that I can point to in the Torah of diaspora guilt. And it's a real thing. You might be feeling it the way I'm feeling it. Um, I want to I wanna share with you how the story goes and how the rabbis um, treat the, the, uh, the verses here. So remember, at the end of the book, by the way, we say, chazak, chazak, v'nit chazek. So tomorrow we'll be saying, be strong, be strong, and let us strengthen one another. That is how a Jew closes off a book. So where does the diaspora guilt come in? So we are um, at the end of the 40 years of wilderness wanderings. All the dreams are about to be fulfilled. We're about to cross over the Jordan River from the east to the west and make our way home again after centuries away, returning to our ancestral homeland. So imagine we're right on the edge of the fulfillment of those dreams, of that promise. And then the leadership from two of the tribes, and later we learn actually two and a half tribes, approach Moses and they say, you know, we're cattle people. And the land to the east of the Jordan River is perfect for our cattle. So we were thinking, maybe we'll just stay right here, settle down here. And Moses snaps back and says, are your brothers to go to war while you sit here? And the rabbis ask, why was Moses so angry? There could be many reasons. What was it about? I'll, I'll share just three with you. In Bamid, Bamid Bar Raba, um, it is suggested that these two and a half tribes misunderstood the whole purpose of the journey back home again. They thought it was about creature comforts, about political power, about economic gains. And so they said, well, for cattle people, it's a better match for us here east of the Jordan. But that was their great mistake because that's not what the journey was about at all. Not about power or comfort, um, but rather about a sacred mission. When you match up the Jewish people, when you match up the, the people of Israel with the land of Israel, then we are capable of doing right for all the world. Another suggestion comes from Sforno, the uh, 16th century Italian philosopher and biblical commentator and physician. And he says, the problem with these uh, two and a half tribes who uh, chose to live outside the land was that they were diminishing the morale of the other tribes. And that part of our responsibility is to lift each other up. So when I say to you, don't become dispirited, it's Shabbos, sing a little, have a piece of cake, <laughs> you know. Um, that's part of our responsibility, one to the other, is to lift each other up. And by saying we intend to stay outside of the land, um, they were at risk of demoralizing the others. And then the third possibility that I want to share with you tonight comes from the 15th century Spanish commentator, Yitzhak ben Moshe Arama. And he offers an explanation that points to the ambiguity of the two and a half tribes. That they didn't really know what they stood for. They didn't really know what was important to, to them. They didn't really know what their priorities were. And so um, they seem to um, lack confidence in who they were and what they were really about. And so Moses says, um, you, it's important to know where you stand. Last week's parsha, Pinchas, was a warning against 
zealotry and passion and being uncompromising and going to the extreme. This week's parsha is just the opposite. The warning comes to say, live a life of passion. Know what you want and be committed to it. And don't lose your clarity. So certainty is not a Jewish ideal. It's important to say, I don't know when you don't know. But clarity is a Jewish ideal and something that we should strive for. Think about the difference between certainty and clarity. It is written, you shall be clear before the eternal your God and before Israel. V'yitem nikiyim me'adonai u'me'israel. This is not about being stubborn or even certain. It's about making commitments and this is not always easy. So on this Shabbat, I pray that God will strengthen us in this time of uncertainty and worry, and that as Moses did for the two and a half tribes, in their moment of uh, lack of clarity, may we challenge one another. If there are moments of ambivalence, let us uh, reinforce one another so that our passions and commitments will be for the good, and so that we can say to one another, Chazak, Chazak, Venit Chazek. We turn back to the prayer book now, Aleinu uh, Shabeach, page 139. Please rise. Aleinu Shabeach la don ha kol, la take you to la liot zer breishit, shelo asanu kegoye ha ratzot, vilo ho samanu kemishpachot adama, shelo usam chelkenu kahim, vigo ho aleinu kecho hamonam, Ba'anachnu korim, mishtachavim u'modim, lifnei melech malchei hamlachim, ha'kadosh baruch hu. She'chu notesh ha'mayim, ve'yoset aretz, u'moshav yekaro ba'ashmayim ima, u'shchin atuzo, u'shchin atuzo, be'kafei merohomim. Hu Eloheinu Eenod, Emet Malkeinu Efesulato, Kakat Torato, Viadata Hayom, Viadata Hayom, Bahashevota Elevavecha, Ki Adonai, Huha Elohim, Bashamayim, Mima. I invite the mourners among us to remain standing while everyone else is seated. In this way, we can acknowledge the mourners among us and extend our condolences to you now. Today, we mark the art site of Morris Abadi, Jean Appleton, Dinny Bass, Adeline Borens, Luba Chaitin, Donna Cohen, Maxwell Cole, Dora Dolgorf, Joseph Danson, Annie Dubbin, Max Enken, Samuel Fingold, Fagy Fleischman, Morris Frankel, Helen Freed, Lily Garson, Lucy Goldstein, David Goodman, Charles Hertzman, Tani Caden, Mark Kerbel, Nathan Latchman, Morris Laman, Julia Levine, 
Samuel Lawrence Goodwin Lichtenberg, Pearl Lipsy, Lillian Maris, Naima Maslia, Barbara Mursky, Harry Morganton, Mornington, Hilda Nissenbaum, Melville Olsberg, Helen Pullen, Ruth Rose, Ben Rosenberg, Michael Satak Wallman, Helen Schlesser, Anne Steinberg, Lena Stock, Sarah Stossel, Renee Sussman, Ronald Turk, Kenneth Wyman, Nathan Yasny, and David Zenner. We also mourn for those who died most recently and whose families are in the period of Shloshim. They are Arlene Ruth Cherizenko, Gertrude Diamond, Matthew Hirschberg, Sidney Hoffman, Hirach Manukian, Natalie Pressburger, Doug Ramshaw, and we pray, uh, we mourn also for the fallen soldiers of Israel. Are there any other names to be remembered this Shabbat before Kaddish? May the memories of each one be for a blessing. We stand together with our mourners now to support them and to praise God's name with these words. Page 142. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Ose shalom bim romav, hu y ase shalom, alenu va al kol yisrael, vi imru, amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn and comfort to those among us who are bereaved, and together we say, Amen. Ose shalom bim romav, hu y ase shalom, alenu. While we're standing, um, let me call attention to um, uh, an opportunity this coming Wednesday at 1.30. Um, longtime MP Anthony Hausfather, who is now the newly appointed special advisor on Jewish community relations and anti-Semitism, will be here at Holy Blossom Temple, right here. So please come, bring your questions, bring your concerns, let him hear from you, let him uh, answer our questions. Um, I know there are many, and let us uh, support him in his important uh, portfolio. I also feel that as we're praying for Israel's leadership and we're praying for Israel's soldiers and we're praying for Israel's advisors and for uh, elected leaders of Israel's friends uh, here and everywhere, let's, um, let's join in Hatikva. So that's on page 547, 547. <laughs> Oh, 
Kiddush can be found on page 439. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei peri hagafen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher ki tshanu b'mitzvotav v'ratzav anu V'shabat kodcho v'ahava uvratzon hin chilanu Zikaron lemaase bereshi ki hu yom tehila lemikrae kodesh zeicher letziat lemitzrayim ki vanu vacharta v'otanu ki dasha mikohamim v'shabat kod. Be'ahava uvratzon hin chaltanu Baruch atah Adonai Mekadesh ha-shabbat Amen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha-olam Ha-motzi lechem min ha-aretz Oh. Uh...